Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. Today we are back working on our big massive recovery ship here and uh, what do we got going on? Uh, apparently there's a rescue mission on the moon there. Uh, we did work on our boat uh, last time and we've got that, the, the jump mechanics. I'm just I'm not enjoying those new jump mechanics. Uh, we uh we built okay you know what let's let's grab this and jump up here we've built a new little boat for the front of our boat we got a nice little tender here we've got a couple seats up front we can shuttle some people around a little bit of equipment uh we can jump back on the helm here uh did make a nice little modular engine for it a lot of you yelled at me because i made a mistake and yeah we'll fix that as soon as we get back into the workbench here uh going around i don't think we did much else i think that was the only thing that we did uh other than uh, i did work on the bridge a little bit i think i showed you that you guys that as well so let's go ahead and grab this i think today Okay, let's uh let's walk down i think we're gonna work on this room in here one of these rooms i think we're gonna work on this one here today so we got this one here this is gonna be our equipment room uh so i think on this other side here this is gonna be our med bay uh it's a big nice room we got med bay we got closet storage we got server room so basically if we were doing something on the main deck we could instantly come in and put these guys in here we also got this little door here that we could come in uh, so if they were, if we pulled them from the center, say a helicopter landing, they can come right in, go right into the med bay. So that's what we're going to work on today is this, uh, this little area here. Uh, I'm super excited to get this done. So let's jump in the workbench. Let's grab it and let's start, uh, start figuring this out. Uh, now I needed to fix something here. A lot of you guys called me out on, uh, where this, uh, coolant part goes and yeah, it was in the wrong spot. So we're just going to fix that. Like it never happened. And there we go. All right, I do see a little spot back here. I need to paint up like that. Let's paint that. The other thing is I need a gas relief valve on this too. Nobody caught that. Uh, that's a new problem that we have. So let's go back to our pipes and we need the cross corner. We're gonna do that. Let's go to gas, let's get the relief valve and then let's get the port. And there we go. Now we can paint all this up and now the engine here should be good to go. Somebody was also worried that I didn't have a uh, manifold connecting to two sides. Uh, here is that right there. That's part of our exhaust system as well. So they are connected. Uh, other than that, this engine should be good. Let's jump into, where's this room at? This room here. So this is gonna be our med bay area. So what if we kind of say, let's do one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do another little wall here like this. Let's cut this out. Did I cut that out right? Nope, I did not. Let's cut that out right there. Now what I'm gonna do is this is just gonna be, I'm just gonna call this like a waiting area. Um, so if they don't need to be in a med bay, they can at least sit right here and we can keep track of all of our, our people. Uh, so let's go get a seat. So this will be for any NPCs that are not injured and just need a place to go. Uh, so we got one, two, how many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. And then I think on this wall here, I'm gonna do some, some glass so these guys can see through. So we'll do some portholes. Let's do the big portholes. And we're just gonna do these vertically like this. And that's all we're gonna get out of this. Okay, hmm. I kinda wanna move these over a little bit. What if we moved them to here? Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. Uh, especially on, in this room it does. On this wall it's a little, oh, it's not bad. I like that, I like that. All right, so this is gonna be our med bay. Let's come in here and let's give this like a sliding door. Door, 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 sliding door, there we go. We're going to come in here and that keeps that room separate. We're going to do the same thing over here. Hmm, where do I want? I want the door to be right there. Okay, perfect. That, that works. All right, cool. So we've got a little waiting area. Perfect. Then we've got the area of actual medical. So we're going to need some beds in here. Uh, let's go to med beds, beds. All right, so these guys, how many of these can we fit in this room? Um, one, uh, space of two or space of three? Uh, maybe let's see a space of two right now. Where did it go? There it is. So with a space of two, we can get four med beds in here. I don't know if we need four med beds. I kind of like it though. I kind of like that as a as an idea. Okay, let's get rid of this. So now I need a regular block. We need to build up this. Let's go back to our bed. And I kind of like that, but I kind of don't. Um, Let's do this. I'm gonna get rid of all this, get rid of all that. Let's build ourselves. Let's go back to pipes. And I kind of want to build something that feels like the bed is floating up on the like pipes sort of that, that none of that makes sense let me just start building and you guys will understand if i do something like that and then we go like this go pipe there pipe there pipe these corners this is kind of like the foot rest thing that raises it up and then we've got that that we go to the bed is that will the bed sit on this yes okay there's the bed it sits on that feel like this is going to need some better support system so let's go back to our pipes there's the corner pipe 
We'll grab a straight piece, a straight piece, and then now a corner. And this will give us some visual support here on this, uh, this bed. I feel like this needs to be the cross section. Where is the cross? The Omni. There we go. Omni directional. There. Now it feels like this thing can actually support itself. And it doesn't feel like it's taking up a whole lot of room here. Uh, also, I want to come back here. Let's do this. Let's make this a T piece. Come back with another one of these. Let's go with a corner. We're going to come back up. Up, up. Go back to the corner. Like that. We can come out with it. Oh, no, we can't. Um, how much higher do I need to come up here? Just one more. Come on, grab that piece. All right. Control click works sometimes. Okay, we'll extend that out. And then I think this one here will be a spotlight. We'll mount that there. That'll give us light over the operating table. And yes, I like that. Let's give this a medical color here, like this little blue. This kind of feels like a medical bed there. Yes, nice. Okay. And I don't know what color to make all of this. I feel like white's pretty good. Feels pretty sanitary. Let's copy this. We get all of this, all of this, all of this, all of that, and all of that. Okay. We're going to cut this one. Let's move this one out of the way up against the wall here. There's one. All right. Paste. We're giving room of two. Paste. Another room of two. Paste. And I think I'm going to leave it like that. Let's go ahead and merge these. Three, three beds is quite a bit. Three beds is quite a bit. And I think what I'm going to do here is actually make this a workstation like that. Let's fill this in. This is going to be a workstation. Let's go ahead and get a bunch of uh, equipment. Equip. Let's spell equipment right. Equipment. Uh, we're going to need some first aid. I'm just going to do a bunch of first aid here like that. We'll do uh, several rows. Let's go find our defib. There we go. We got a defib. 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 I'm going to throw a couple oxygen masks in here. I know that's not medical, but it always feels medical, so it looks good with this stuff. Plus, if we're sinking and we're, we're drowning in this room, we have, we have uh, oxygen uh, to help us out here. All right, what else can we put here? Should we just put another uh, defib in here? Is there anything else that's medical? I don't think we have anything else that's medical. Maybe a, uh, let's do a fire extinguisher just for safety reasons. You never know what's going to happen here. Somebody might uh, spontaneous combust inside this area. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. You know what? I actually want to put some empties in here as well. Uh, just in case we've got to get rid of something in our pocket. And this will speed that process up. We'll do it like that. And then let's grab the other empty, the large inventory. There we go. And that kind of gives a nice little shelf area there. I like that. Uh, that works pretty good. Uh, what can we do in the corner here? I feel like there needs to be some sort of... Uh, some sort of piece of equipment? I don't know. Um, I mean, I feel like this is pretty good for now, honestly. Uh, everything is too too clean. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna paint these these pipes up here. All right, just finishing uh, painting this up now. That should give us a little bit better. We, we can see it. It stands out a little bit better. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Actually, let's get this gray here. I think that matches the inner gray. Does it? Uh, maybe that gray does. Nope. Maybe this gray does. Is anything changing? That gray right there. That looks like the bed. Okay, perfect. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the underside here. We won't ever see the underside, but my OCD is telling me that it needs to be done. Uh, so there we go. Cool. Uh, nice little uh, med room here. Let's, oops, gotta paint these up. And then we need some toggles. And this will still be for each one of these lights here. There we go, we can turn on the lights here. Let's power these up. We'll hook these up. That's that one, that's that one. And that's that one. Nice. Okay. Well, med bay kind of complete. I feel like it needs more. So we've got like a little seating area here. You can come in. Uh, let's do some paint blocks. Paint. Paintable indicator. Paintable sign. Paintable indicator. Um, I feel like a paintable indicator would be better because it would be easier to see if the lights were out. So let's do one of these. Let's come in here. Let's grab our paint fill. Let's paint all this. Hello. Can I? Oh, it's this. It's replace color. There we go. Replace color. Let's grab our red, and we're just gonna do a medical cross here. A little standard, there we go. We know that medical is in here. Now let's go to our additive with the same color red, and we're just gonna draw over top of it. There we go. Now it has the option to be red or lit up in the event of, say, a blackout in the ship. Uh, I feel like I need to do another one over here. So let's copy this and move this. Or do I do another one? I think that's plenty. I think that's plenty. Let's do this. Grab that, copy it. I'm going to bring it to this other side here, and we'll plop that in right there, and paste it. And I kind of feel like I need some windows maybe on this side here, too. Maybe just one right there, just so we can see what's going on in the event of an emergency, I guess. There we go. That's not bad. That works pretty good. 
Uh, that way you can look in and see if you should be able to go in first because these guys might be in quarantine. You never know. You never know. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, maybe some lights in here. A little overhead light, say right here. And we'll do one directly above the door. And then we'll need a couple in here. We'll do just on the entrance on the other side of the door. We'll do the same thing here. Entrance on the other side of the door. And then we'll make this even like that. So this is also our door entry, but it's also our equipment lighting as well. And then we'll do another one. Let's try to line these up. Another one right here, just to light the rest of the room. All right, cool. Let's get a player sensor. And this is how we're gonna turn these on. This will be nice and easy to do. So we'll just find somewhere in the center of the room. We're gonna hook up the player sensor to our lights. There we go. And probably, yeah, those lights are gonna be different. Those are in a different area. Uh, that should be good. Uh, let's paint that back up, whatever that was. Come on, paint it up. There we go. And there we go. Uh, it feels a little sterile in here still. Let's, I mean, it is a first aid room, so sterile makes sense, but I feel like something is missing. It's like this corner. This corner needs like an IV bag or something standing in it. Um, can I build something like that? Let's try. Pipes, uh, let's go with, we'll do a pipe angle first. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do anything here. So we're just gonna kind of play around with some pipes and see. Okay, we could do that. Then we can do the cross corner like that. And then we kind of go up like this. And then it kind of flips over. You got the hook that holds the bag. Now what looks like a bag? What looks like an IV bag in this game? Does anything? Hmm. Oh, 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 here we go. Let's do this. Maybe this will work. Window. Okay, I can't hook to that. What if I do this? Well, that, that won't hook to that either. How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? That, that, that. Get rid of this, this, and this. Okay, window. Maybe another one. Let's only do this guy here. Oh, that's not gonna work right there though. Hmm, if I did it on the outsides like this, it would work, but there's not gonna be glass for the backside or the inside. I don't know if this is what I need to do here. Um. Kind of feels right. Let's see, will that go in there like that? That still will not fit, and that won't fit down here. Ah, uh, that would've would been so good. That would've been so good if the glass would've worked. Uh, what can I use though? Hmm, this is really tough, you guys, because nothing really looks like a bag. What if we did a catalytic converter just hanging there, like that, and then do another one? I don't know, kinda, um, and then that sort of works. I don't know, um, kind of looks like a coat rack. I don't know. I was hoping it would be an IV bag. That doesn't really look as good as I wanted it to. It doesn't translate. Maybe a relay? Kind of feels like a, a bag being squeezed in the middle. Sort of? I don't know. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave that. That was an afterthought anyway. Let's go ahead and paint this like that. Almost looks like a coat rack. It's a coat rack IV bag. Maybe a nozzle on the bottom to indicate that you could hook up to that. Maybe, okay, let's uh, we're gonna leave that like that. That's gonna be, and we can kind of look in the window, see what our IV level is, even though they're all the way across the room. Uh, that's usually on wheels, and that rolls up to next next to what you need. Uh, I like that. Um, I can't think of anything else that we need in here. I uh, don't really need to paint the floors. Um, I do have this microcontroller here. This could work. Uh, where do I want to stick this? Let's just stick this up top here, like it's part of some system in here, like it's the Wi-Fi system or whatever. Uh, we need a monitor. Uh, I think it's gonna be this one here. Come on, one of these days. I don't know which way I'm facing in the boat, hang on. Oh, okay, so this is forward here. That's why things aren't rotating right. Okay, the J, there we go, boom, boom. Ooh, that's not gonna work. What if we do it like this? Well, this could be, oh, you know what I could do? I, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, we're gonna take that, we're gonna take this, delete that. This is all gonna be like an EKG machine or something. Uh, so we'll add something like that. We'll go to the floor. Usually it kind of moves over. Let's get a keypad. So it looks like it's got something going on here. Keypad, EKG, and then it would be like hooked up to, let's see, let's get a, a cable, cable. Let's do it like this. Do a cable there and then, I don't know, just for looks, I'm gonna stick one, not there. Okay, we're gonna put it here. Nope, not there either. Where can I put this? Maybe under the bed? I just want to have something connected to it so it looks like it's actually running over to this patient or to that bed. All right, so now I need, uh, let's use the player sensor to turn this monitor on because I don't want this monitor on all the time. 
A uh, bit of a lag fest, probably. Uh, so there's that. What does this need? Medical bed occupied? Um, we'll do that. And then everything else we don't need. Cool. So that should be a little EKG machine. We've got our IV bag. We've got three medical beds. We've got kind of a waiting room area for non, non-injured patients. Um, what can we do right here? I feel like this could be a little table area or something. Maybe this is where the coffee and stuff is at, the coffee machine. I don't know. Let's go back to equipment, equip. I'm just gonna put some empties across here as shelves like that. And then let's get our small ones wherever they might be. There we go, a little, little cabinet area for whatever is happening over here. All right, cool. So you come in, medical. Nice, I dig it. I dig our medical room now. Let's um, let's go spawn this in. I wanna see what this looks like. See if we can add anything. All right, so let's say we landed our helicopter. We pulled somebody off the helicopter. A vehicle has a large number of lights now. Are we at that point where we're, we're, we're killing the physics here with lights? Awesome. Uh, so we come in, you've got medical. You can drop people off like here. You can run straight back out, grab more, drop them off. Or you can come in here, lights come on. And yeah, we've got a medical room. You start putting people in bags, in bags. No, hopefully we're not putting them in bags. Uh, that means that we've lost a mission. Uh, so we got some spotlights here. I can see what's going on. Perfect. If I jump in this bed, does... Oh, can we even see in this room here? Can I even see in this room here? Let's go to the camera mode. Let's see if that did not turn on that monitor. Why is this monitor not on? Oh, I didn't hook up the video to this. That's why. That's why. Let's get back in there. There's a video connection. All right. Back to this. Woo. Okay. Hang on. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, composite. No. Video. Yes. There we go. Now that should work. We'll spawn that in again. Maybe we can see it. Where is, here we go. Let's fly on over into the med room here. We're gonna land in here. Okay, so there is our heart monitor. And when we get in the bed, I can't see the heart monitor. Let's go into photo mode here. And we wanna hit P to make sure that it's, it's, we're not paused anymore. And there we go. We are reading the heart information off of the player. This is just a fun little microcontroller I found in the workshop. So it's not really actually reading the heart monitors, but it gives the med room a little bit of uh a little bit of life here, so to speak. So yeah, there we go. We've got a nice little med room. Um, can I get in this little corner here and take a screenshot? Can we get a screenshot up here? Ooh, yes. Good little spot for a screenshot. All right, so there we go. We've got a uh, we've got a nice little med room here for our ship. Uh, hopefully we can start uh we can start using this to rescue some people. Uh, really cool. Let's see what we got out here. Does it turn off? Everything turns off. Nice. We don't need this room unless we are in here. Cool. Perfect. Uh, I think, let's see, we got to work on our storage room. This can be more of an equipment room. We can come in here and do some more lights and stuff like that. Uh, we'll work on that. Not sure what these little closets area. We've still got our server room to work with. Oh, man, I really love our med room. It looks really cool to look in as well. Uh, maybe we'll do some arrows and signage on the walls here too to kind of guide people around. And we've still got this area. Oh, we don't have a way to get up there from this side. Hmm. Maybe we need some stairs in here to go up so we don't have to go outside to get to the next level. That might be another thought as well. Uh, so we'd come in here and there would be, ooh, like a staircase here or something. So that would completely change the look of this room. And I was also considering that for in here, uh, doing a staircase back here so that we wouldn't have to go outside to walk up anywhere in the boat. So yeah, that might be another project for another day. We'll do some staircase here so we can run down from here which would then put us in, okay, okay. Railings are meant to not be jumped over, which would then come down into here, which would then have to have a loop around to go back down into this area down here. Oh, okay, wait, because now the stairs are here up front. Okay, so maybe the stairs come down and then you have to walk up over to here to then get to maybe a ladder. Maybe this is a ladder room. Maybe that's what we do. I don't know. I've got a ton of ideas. I hope you guys have a lot of ideas because I'd love to hear them. Uh, we are working on this together. So yeah, uh, guys, we've got a medical room done. Um, we're getting get some stuff done with this boat here. Uh, just got our tender here done last episode, which is really cool. If you missed that, make sure you go check that out. Uh, I've got the med bay done now. We're still working on the bridge, kind of doing that off camera. Uh, a lot of microcontroller connections there. That kind of gets a little boring. But yeah, we are, uh, we're we're getting done with this thing. I'd like to put a little helicopter on the back of this. I'd like to work on the cranes. Uh, we got to work on some cranes uh, for up front as well. And we've got this kind of 
big flat area here too not sure what can go here maybe another set of cranes to uh lift gear and equipment up into i don't know uh maybe we just paint this thing gray and turn it into a military ship and uh we put some uh handheld guns here maybe some guns up front i don't know what do you guys think uh tell me in the comments i'd love to know but uh we are done here today i think so guys thanks so much for watching i appreciate you 100 and we will see you in the next one let's get out of here